So welcome back. We are still moving on with more examples on how to use the other formula which we call the auxiliary angle formula. So the next example, looking at example two, say sort of the equation, sort of the equation, Siri cos theta minus four sine theta equals five for zero degrees less or equal to theta less or equal to 360 degrees. So you can see we have got three cos minus four sine. Ask yourself which formula was bringing a cos minus something sine. So we are going to say from R cos into theta plus alpha equals a c. So if we try to expand this one, what are going to have? We are going to have R cos theta cos alpha minus R sine theta sine alpha equals a constant. So we try to arrange it in that nature. It becomes R cos alpha cos theta minus R sine alpha sine theta equals a c. So when you try to compare, comparing, you can say this is a question is done. You can say comparing a question is done with three cos theta minus four sine theta equals a five. What does it give us? You will see here is this. We shall have R cos alpha equals a three. I say this is the first. We also compare this with this. We are going to have R sine alpha equals a four. This is the second. Then what if I say question two divided by one? Question two divided by one, we are going to have R sine alpha out of R cos alpha equals four out of three. So when we try to reduce R cos, we're going to mean with sine alpha equals 4 out of 3. So what is alpha alone? We are going to look at the tan arc of 4 out of 3. So what is the tan arc of 4 out of 3? It is around 50 something there. You can press it still. Say shift tan arc of 4 out of 3. We are coming out with 53.13. So our alpha is 53.13 degrees. Then we also look at how can we get the value of R. I can say equation 1 squared plus 2 squared. What does it give us? When you look at equation 1 squared plus 2 squared, we are going to have R cos alpha, R cos alpha squared plus R sine alpha squared equals 3 squared plus 4 squared. So here I'm having R squared cos squared alpha plus R squared sine squared alpha equals 25. When you try to expand those ones and you come up with a clear thing. Then what is common here? What is common is R squared into cos squared alpha plus sine squared alpha equals 25. And again, cos squared alpha plus sine squared alpha, we are coming out with 1. So what do I get? I'm getting R squared equals 25. What is R alone? R alone is already a 5. Then we are free to substitute in back in our expression, which was giving us R cos into theta, theta, plus alpha cos c. We have, we have got our r as 5 cos into, do we know our theta, which you want to look for? Theta plus, do we know alpha? Alpha is already 53 point one three equals our c is already, is already 5. So, dividing it out by 5, we are remaining with, divide it out by 5, we are remaining with cos into theta, plus 
equals 1. So, if I want to take the cos arc, I'm going to remain with theta plus 53.13 equals the cos arc of 1. So, theta plus 53.13. When you press on your calculator, the cos arc of 0, we are coming out, cos arc of 1, we are coming out with 0 degrees. Comma, <clears throat> we try to look at in the quadrant system. Here, we have said that the cos arc of 1, we are coming out with 0. Where is cos again? Because we may say all. Ah. So, another one is 360 degrees. So, when you try to make it the subject, what is it going to be? What is it going to be? Sita is going to be series 0 minus this, you get negative, negative 53.1 degrees, comma, series 60 minus that balance. What are you getting? Get your calculator, press series 60 minus 53.13. We are coming out with series 06.87. We are coming out with 306. 0.87 degrees. Now, we go back and look at how we are supposed to deal with the range. Our range is 0 degrees up to 360 watt degrees. Now, with the negative, it is not ranging in our range. It is not lying there. So, what do you take? We are going to say that theta is 306 0.87 degrees. And that's our solution. And you qualify to get the five minutes on that number.